Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Kat. I am new to YouTube. I just published uh, my first video last week, so that was a little scary, but I am going to do another video today. So today I'm going to do an uh, inspired look by one of my favorite animes, mangas, um, and video games. So if any of you guys know the, sh the show uh, Dan dang out of rampa i can hardly say it and i'm so nervous so it's definitely probably not going to be sent right uh you know the principal his name is monokuma and he is this half black half white bear um in the school of hope's peak high school which is supposed to be a very hard academy to get to um but it is a little different than that um it's weird. Very cool. Well, basically, this um, school is a trap. Yeah, you heard it right. It's a trap. Um, it's a uh, kill or be killed or you don't graduate. It's not much I can say. Uh, yeah, I made a mistake here Did and you? totally forgot to turn off the filter. So, uh, just enjoy me being weird Spectre. for a sec. Hi, sorry again, friends. Uh, I am back after I had to regain my composure um, after I laughed so hard um, over the mega mouth uh, effect that I put on. Um, for anyone who knows TikTok, I am using TikTok to film this week just because it uh, gives you 60 second in increments um, and those are a little easier to edit at a time and I can edit some things um, during the time. So let's just get to the look a little bit here um, and I will show you who this uh, terrifying bear is, who's a principal. Um, he also is kind of a uh, very like caring principal in a way too, uh, but he's also being controlled by one of the very smartest people in the world, um, who is also a teenager. It's weird. So, um, starting with what I'm going to be using today, like I said, he's a half black, half white character. That's the reason for the shirt. Uh, this one actually took the longest to get in over all of the pieces. So it's going to be more of a humanized version of Monokumba. So I am going to be using this black paint by Graftobing. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong as well. Um, I heard about them recently while watching a Major Look tutorial. I am also going to be using their version of a white paint. They're both um, water activated, so I've got some water here. I did warm it up a little bit. I wasn't sure if you're supposed to use cold or warm, and I'd rather put warm or uh, paint on my face than freezing cold. So. Also today for the video, I am going to be using a Wet n Wild palette I got a few years ago. I'm going to be using this red color over here. Um, it uh, goes for the red eye that he has um, over on the black portion of his uh, body. And um, I, I got this quite a few years ago um, for when, um, when my friends were having a Super Bowl party. Uh, I figured we were going to put makeup on our face. I was the only one that did. Um, so, um, I think it's more of a grease paint, unfortunately, so it probably won't look as fabulous. Um, but I really didn't have a lot of money to go get another kind. I am going to be using multiple other things. Um, I don't really know what to use for my face, whether I should use like a regular makeup brush or just go right in with this cool triangle brush uh, that I uh, talked myself into buying. To be honest, it only took like five seconds because it's in the shape of a triangle. But uh, we'll just do some stuff and see how it goes. Um, I'm new to this whole painting my whole face thing. Uh, I've watched quite a few videos, um, but I didn't really think about 
what I needed to do to paint my face before that. So I'm going to put on a headband so I don't get any paint in my hair. Um, and we'll get started. This is when I realized how terribly I messed up. Okay, so I got my hair up. I got my headband on. I got all of my fancy lights in my new little vanity space, um, you know, on and ready to go. Actually, you know, start doing things. So I, I really don't want to ruin this shirt. I got it from uh, the Tony Moly store on, sto on sh uh, Shop MV. Uh, it's the first time I've ever seen or heard of that store. I've been looking for the shirt and this is the perfect shirt. Like I said, took a while to come in. It's totally worth it. Um, by the way, this video is not sponsored for anything, but I am an ambassador for a brand now. So, um, they are a skincare brand. And I'll uh, so I'm going to start by taking this black paint. Um, I'm just going to spray it and draw a line down my face. So I'm going to be honest, I didn't use enough water for that. So we're going to do it again. Spray it a few times. <laughs> Hopefully this is the scary part. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lean in the mirror. It's right in front of the mirror. So um, I'm just really going to go for it. I'm going to draw more towards the right side of my face, mainly because I don't want to screw it up. It's actually kind of neat. It feels really nice, the paint. Is, um, so I know why a lot of people use it. It's very like soft, silky paint. Silky, silky. Um, it's a hard part because now there's extra things um, on my face. So, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna do further down my neck later, but I also really just want to get a good amount on here. Um, just to see what I've got to fill in. What a Luke, uh, I guess you'd say. Oh, man! Do you see that? I don't know. If you can't, that's okay, because I can, and it's just slightly. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna probably have to really, really touch this up. Um, but it's, it's a lot of fun right now. So in the few seconds, um, that I had to wait for the uploader to load, um, I decided to draw a smiley face because, you know, sometimes you just gotta do it to them. Um, I went a little further into my nose. We'll just see how that turns out. If it's still there Monday, oh well. Um, I also decided to just give you a little update on what my last video did. And honestly, it may not sound like a lot to you guys, but it's really neat seeing that people cared enough to watch your videos, um, even if it was a very awkward first video. So I wound up getting like four likes, two comments, and I also got uh, three subscribers. What? Three, and three people decided to help boost my subscriber count. So okay, we're back now. We're going to start on the white paint now. Um, the black side is dry now, uh, or at least as dry as it feels. And like I said, it's a really smooth, soft feeling, so it really doesn't feel, um, I don't know if it's dry or not. Okay, so the white doesn't feel as good. It's also really spotty. Uh, so I'm going to speed up the next few seconds, and uh, hopefully we can get this on. Do the rest. procrastinated until the very last second um also um there he has a black eye on the white side of him so i think for that i <laughs> theo i think i'm just going to probably fill that out fill that in with eyeshadow 
Like I said, I'm not really sure how close I can get with the paint in certain places, so we'll see. Okay, so I'm deciding to use a bigger brush for the white and see if that might help. I googled some things, um, and, um, I mean, it seems a lot less patchy. I think the one that I was using was just too small, um, because I was nervous. I mean... Who's not nervous the only problem is my face is mostly dry um yeah so yeah i'm just gonna finish the white side so i never have to see it again well i mean i gotta see it but never hopefully don't have to deal with it too much again um because obviously i don't know what i'm doing um like, in my head, this looks so much different. <laughs> okay, gonna switch to the black paint again um, and touch up some center lines here. Uh, just kind of... Oh, feels weird. Okay, so I'm just coloring in my neck now. And then I am going to get to the eye detail and then the mouth detail. Um, for both sides. And then, as you can see, I did the mouth. I had to fix a little bit of the white because it started to crack around my mouth. I was able to get most of my neck done. I'll have to touch up certain spots, um, but most of it will be covered by the hair anyway. Um, and now I'm just trying to finish the details. Um, This is nothing like what I thought it was going to look like, but what can I expect? I am not a, um, FX artist, um, and I never had to do a full face kind of thing before, so this is a to finish the smile a little bit without having to wipe any of that off so i'm gonna just shut my mouth for a second and uh speed on through this <laughs> Whether or not I will paint my face again in the future does not determine on this video. But it's just whether or not I feel like it. It doesn't matter how good it is. Just that I had fun. And I, I got my contacts in. Uh, like I said, it's not super perfect, but we have yet to put the wig on and uh, maybe some spooky music in the background, so. Okay, so this didn't turn out perfect, but I would say it is a little spooky. Um, I didn't really mean for it to be spooky because like I said, he's not a totally hateable character. Um... I mean, it it gets a little, it's, it's a very blurred line, that's for sure. Um, but I am going to take all this off now and go to bed because um, I'm very sleepy. And I still have to wake up early to edit tomorrow, which thank goodness I edited most of it. So um, I'll see you guys in a second when this is all uh, gone and taken care of. Um. Hi, um, so I forgot to film an outro after I got all the makeup off my face. So I am doing it now here with my little puppy dog. Um, you might not be able to see him very well because he is black and it is very dark in this household right now. So, I just wanted to say, thank you. <laughs> that too. 
I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video and if you'd like to see more uh, like subscribe comment um, and I'll see you next week bye